The high schooler accused of bringing a gun to Forsyth Tech and shooting himself in the hand is out on bond tonight. Police arrested Shannon Pitts yesterday. This is video of him leaving court today. The incident put the school on lockdown for hours. Investigators say Pitts had what's called a ghost gun. Yeah, it's a type of homemade gun that doesn't have a serial number and cannot be traced. WFM News 2's Hannah Jeffries found out what makes these guns so dangerous. Winston-Salem police say the 18-year-old shot himself with a 9mm semi-automatic pistol. Since it's considered a ghost gun, law enforcement might never know where it came from. A former Greensboro police officer told me finding these guns, guns like these that is, used to be rare. Here in this area, you don't hear a lot about ghost guns. Now, <laughs> it's just like the gun violence. We're probably going to start hearing more about the ghost guns because they're they're hard to trace. People who assemble ghost guns buy them in parts and put them together at home. It's even more dangerous because you don't need a background check to buy the parts. Thomas Massey is a concealed carry instructor. He says since anybody can buy the parts and put it together, it's dangerous in the wrong hands. A gun in the hands of a competent, trained, responsible uh, person, adult, uh, is really not a, not that dangerous as long as they act responsibly. But when when children, especially, get their hands on a gun, if they're if they're not trained, if they have not had any experience with guns, I can't think of anything that's much more dangerous than that because they're not aware of the the safety issues and it's so easy especially with a handgun to point a handgun at something you don't want to shoot there are efforts to make ghost guns traceable last year the department of justice banned ghost gun production it reclassified ghost guns as firearms that means manufacturers must license them and include serial numbers it requires all sellers to make their clients go through background checks